Hey everybody, welcome back. I apologize for the two week hiatus. You may have noticed I haven't posted recently. Um, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I had my birthday, my mom came for a visit, so we were very busy, but I was excited to post today. Um, the one really new product I'm excited to try today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Foundation. I've heard amazing things for oily skin um, using this foundation, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to try it. Um, additionally, when I went to pick up um, this foundation yesterday in the mall, um, Estee Lauder was having a little bit of giveaways um, so I have an eyeshadow um, palette um, and like a night cream and some other face products that were in there as well. So I try some of them out in this video and talk a little bit about that. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but Estee Lauder is a brand that I haven't really tried before. So I was excited to kind of check it out. Um, so this is the makeup that I would do if I was going to anchor. Um, it's obviously, as you can see, very full coverage. Um, but I wanted to try out this foundation with, um, uh, with again, how I would do my makeup if I was going to be anchoring under the lights. Um, so if you want to recreate this look, Look, keep watching. Okay, so to get started, I've already primed my eyes and my face using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the Pore Professional for my face. Um, so we're going to actually get started with the eyes. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to start with the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy, and this is one of the samples of the products that I received. I'm going to start with kind of the champagne color and just put that across my mobile lid just to kind of give a little bit of a, a lighter shade to start with the base. And I'm just gonna start working that just a, almost a little bit up through my the, the bottom half of my crease. I'm then going to take my uh, Sigma E70 medium angled shading brush and go in with the next kind of brown color, and I'm gonna work that into my crease. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with this next like plum color here. And I'm just going to work that into the outer corner to add a little bit of color. Since I'm wearing um, green, as you see today, um, I don't want any too strong of a color um, to take away from the look that I have on. Um, but this just adds a little bit of definition. All right, and then I'm just going to take my um, E40 tapered blending brush and just work that plum into the crease with that brown color. So that kind of blends together. Um, and then I'm just going to fade it a little bit into the champagne color, but we still want to kind of see the definition, so just gently blend that in on the outside just to kind of create a softer edge there. And then I'm going to go in with just a small eyeshadow brush and going to pick up some of that white color and use that to highlight my inner corner. And I'm going to then take my um, Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to just take some of that white and put that to use that to highlight the brow bone as well. Okay, I'm then going to go in and I've started doing this more and more and I feel like it really defines the eyes is to line the waterline as well as the top. So I'm going to go in first with the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Okay, and you can just gently kind of pull down so you can see the waterline and just gently start putting that on actual waterline and again this really just makes the eyes look really nice and defined um, I have also gotten a flesh colored um, water liner as well and I find that just during the week um, or if I'm just doing a look to like go out that that's a much nicer um, color to use um, to really make the eyes pop. Okay, we're then going to go in with our top eyeliner. I have the Rimmel London Color Precise um, Eyeliner um, of 24 Hour Wear. This is in the color black. Um, I'm going to go back and see if I can find a midnight black because I feel like sometimes this color ends up looking a little almost green gray at the end and isn't quite as dark as I want. Um, and when I'm under the camera, I do a fairly large line. Obviously, if you're wearing this for a, a day look, um, you want to go in with a little bit more of a, a finer line, but I kind of go in with a fairly thick line and kind of wing it out a, just a little bit towards the edge of the eye. More so kind of just create that wedge there. Okay, so part of the reason I'm doing this video is I was so excited to try the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Um, I was matched in the store as the color uh, 2 and 1 Desert Beige, um, just because I am a little bit more fair right now. I'm going to start popping this on the face with just a flat um, foundation brush. I'm just going to pour a little bit actually on the back of my hand and then kind of start popping that, working that into the skin. And again, as I said before, I've already primed um, the skin with Professional. Um, I believe it's by, uh, let's see if it's by Benefit. Yes, by Benefit. 
Um, so I have heard great things about this foundation. Um, it supposedly is extremely long wear. I know like if you just are reading um, the product description, it says, you know, up to 15 hours of wear, even during heat and humidity. I mean, for myself, I really have a tough time finding a foundation that will stay on all day. Um, when I'm anchoring, I typically use um, the Cover X FX Cream Foundation. And while I do really like that one because there's very full coverage, um, it definitely starts to, to even wear off a little bit. Um, so I was really excited to try this one that's supposedly especially great for oily skin. Um, and it's, um, as you can see, I have a little bit of breakouts here and it's covering pretty well. It says I think it's a medium coverage but buildable. So I'm just going to kind of put um, a, a decent um, covering and then I'll go back in and if I need to put a little bit extra over any problem areas. Um, but I was especially excited for the summer um, to try this, um, especially when I'm out in the field because there have been days running out and, you know, covering stories where it is so hot and your makeup is just running off no matter what, how much you prime and, and uh, set with a setting spray, it just seems to not want to stay in place. So I'm really excited to try this and I'll definitely put in the comment section how I felt like it lasted throughout the day because um, I'll be under the hot lights um, to anchor this evening and I will report back. I'm just going to take this a little bit down onto my neck just to make sure it's consistent even though this color is pretty well matched. I know the color that I had been wearing with Cover X FX, the P40, was just a little bit dark. Um, well, though I sometimes like it to be a, just a shade darker with um, all the lights. Okay, so just working that down onto my neck. Just under my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Under Eye just because it is um, such a full coverage and just really does stay. I find that I need a little bit of a um, a higher end concealer just for under my eyes. The rest of everything else usually pretty much stays in place. So just under the eye. And I'm going to take that right underneath the lash line um, just to be careful not to get that on the, the water line but right up to under the lash line so it's a really nice um, clean look. I know a lot of times um, it's very popular now to put eyeshadow um, underneath on the bottom lash line. It looks really great for just a normal look, but for under the camera, you really want the clean line. So we're going to have to work that down in, um, in that uh, kind of that like check mark motion. I'm just going to kind of create a clean line here as well, the edge of the eyeshadow. And so there's no, just not a lot of product, just enough to kind of create that little V down here. All right, we are now for the rest of our highlight. We are going to go in with this. Oh, let's see, Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in light medium. I probably could have gone one shade lighter, but this one looked so light in the, the tube. I'm just gonna put that right on the skin directly from the tube. Just put a little bit more on the top of the cheekbones. I'm um, just to add a little bit more highlight because I didn't want to bring that um, that thick uh, concealer too far down. And then in the center of the forehead, the bridge of the nose, just a little bit. Outsides of the nose, Cupid's bow, and on the chin. And I cannot find my beauty blender in front of me right now, so I'm just going to use that same concealer brush to just really work that in. Again, I probably could have gone one shade lighter, especially now with this lighter foundation, um, but we will just kind of work that in. Okay, and now to go in with contour, the, um, the contour, I'm going to use the same one that I've been using for a while now, the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Balance uh, Foundation Stick in Coconut. I'm going to use that in the hollows of the cheekbone across the forehead and down the nose on either side of the center of the nose. I'm going to stay away from the jawline. Um, I've really been um, just usually taking whatever a little bit of extra product and using it on the jawline, but I find that it's just a little bit too harsh um, really for an everyday look. Unless it's just a photo shoot, I really prefer to stay away from the jawline. It just creates too much of a difference of color in my mind, but if, if you really blend it out, it works, but um, I find just the color is just a little off. And I'm noticing that both the highlight and the contour are blending really nicely with the foundation. Um, I was a little concerned with it already kind of setting down. Like you can barely feel that it, it barely feels wet at all. And it's when I'm touching it, it's not even coming off on my finger. So I was kind of worried about being able to work these products in. But I think just being the, the liquid foundation, the cream product it is. Um, but I would guess, I, I mean, obviously I've only had this on for just a few minutes now. But I would guess that if you don't go right in, it might be a little hard to blend. Um, or if maybe use a damp beauty blender if you're having a little bit of trouble blending these in. Um, now we are just going to go in with a little bit of cream blush. I really blended out my contour pretty far, so I barely even need any. But we'll just pop a little bit of the Seraphim Botanicals Guava Butter Cream Blush in Guava. Just pop a little bit of that on. The apples of the cheeks. Very light hand here because I'm going to go in with a blush. Okay. 
So now that we have all of our cream products on, we are going to go in and set that with our Laura Mercier setting powder, as we always do. So I'm gonna just start under the eyes. Let's get a little of that into the lid. And I'm first just gonna go in with a smaller brush to set under the eyes before I go in and set the rest of the skin. So again, with this already drying down so far, it looks like we probably won't need very much setting powder, which I'm really excited about because I feel like sometimes it gets a little bit cakey when you have to put so much setting powder for a really creamy formula. So I think this will work out really nicely. And you can already see, even before I have any mascara on, how much the, um, the waterline eyeliner makes the eyes already so much darker and defined which again, when you're, when you're on camera, looks really nice. And really push that into the skin to make sure that foundation is really adhering to your primer. Oh my goodness, I already look so, I barely am gonna even need any more powder. I'm already so mattified, I love it. Um, the uh, bronzer that I've been using is the recently the Bahama Mama bronzer. Um, it's the balm. It's just one of these little tiny ones that you can open here. So I typically take a tapered blending brush just to kind of put the product where I want it and then go back in and blend it. Um, just because it is such a small little palette. So just a little bit um, on the cheekbones and on the hairline. I think with already that lighter highlighter in the middle, I don't really need any more product on my nose. Like I said, I'm just going to do on the under the holes of the cheek on the top of the forehead um, with this Bahama Mama bronzer and just blend that in. And be sure not to bring that product down. Make sure you're keeping that line and if anything, you can always blend upwards if you feel like you have too much product. Um, we're going to go in with a little bit of blush, the B Matte Blush by City Color with a uh, angled blush brush. I'm going in with the color uh, Fresh Melon, I believe that this is. This is more of the uh, the mauve color. I love the bright, um, uh, I think this is the guava color here, um, but just for um, this the outfit that I have, I'm going to go on with a little bit of the darker color. Just on the apples of the cheek and kind of blend that into your contour, just to add some color. Um, then going in with a highlighter, Sephora's uh, Micro Smooth Illuminating Baked Luminizer with just a uh, really like, big eyeshadow brush, um, just kind of like a fluffy brush here. We're just going to put that on um, the tops of the cheekbones and probably bring that only about halfway down the cheek so that it's not too shiny. And we'll keep it just to there for this look. Um, we're then going to go back in for our brows and eyelashes. We have the... J Cat Beauty Perfect Duo Brow Pencil. First, I'm just going to kind of brush through that. Um, and I noticed this brow is a little bit shorter than the other one, so I'm just going to, before we go in with a brow gel, just fill in a little bit here in the front end. Kind of get these to match a little bit more. Kind of get them a little bit more symmetrical. Okay, and then go in with a brow gel, and we can add a little bit more if we need to, again, add a little more symmetry, but just kind of work the uh, Gimme Brow in number three through the brows to really plump them up and fill in any sparse spots and work that in. Okay, and instead of going in with the, um, the brow gel, you can fill in the whole eyebrow with the, um, the pencil if you'd like. I just find for myself that it is way too harsh if I go in and fill it all in with a pencil, it just looks way too dark and um, kind of like fake versus the um, the brow gel kind of keeps a lot of the, the, the natural brows are really the focus there. Um, and then of the It Superhero uh, Mascara in Super Black. This is the Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I find that it's similar to the Better Than Sex by Too Faced, um, but isn't necessarily as clumpy. It's a little bit... Um, of a thinner formula so that you really just get those really long full lashes but you don't necessarily um it's not crazy thick um but it really fill, does fill out the lashes and you if you want those like extra extra thick fringe you can always throw a coat of that on when you're done i'm just gonna use this and for me i feel like when i put a couple coats of this um the it's superhero mascara on it looks like i have falsies on in my mind which is I'm always looking for a mascara that looks like falsies that where I don't actually have to use falsies because they always seem to irritate my eyes or I feel like they feel so heavy. Um, so if I can find a mascara that I can put on that looks the same, then I'm all about it. All right, and I am going to then go in with a setting spray. I've been using the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray here. This has been my favorite. I feel like for oily skin, it is the best.
All right, and while that setting spray is drying, I'm going to go in with a meat matte hues in the color Sincere, um, just to put a little something on my lips. Um, I usually like liquid lipstick for while I'm working because it's going to stay on no matter what, and usually knock it on my teeth, which is helpful. <laughs> I'm just going to just slightly overline the bottom lip and slightly overline the cupid's bow. Because we have such a defined our, um, eye look, I'm keeping my lips a little bit more neutral, um, but you really don't need to. That kind of um, old school, you know, uh, dark eye neutral lip is really not even in play anymore. You really can get away with a stronger lip. Maybe not necessarily a red, but you can get away with a, a brighter pink or a purple. Um, I'm just going to dust a little bit of Makeup Forever um, uh, HD Press Powder just to really set everything into place. And you can use a kabuki or just a large foundation brush just kind of to just pat this over the skin and make sure everything is really modified and in place. So that is it. That is the all the makeup that I do when I am going to anchor or um, if I really want to do full makeup for reporting uh, during the week. Um, it definitely looks great under the lights. Um, it looks very defined and your, your uh, features like your eyes and your lips really pop and the rest of the skin really looks flawless because we did all that highlighting and contouring and really um, made everything look um, very nice. Um, I will, like I said, leave in the comments um, a box below about how the Estee Lauder Double Wear lasted throughout the day. I already feel like it is really staying on the skin and has a really nice satiny finish, um, but I will comment below. Um, hope you enjoy this and hope you have a great week.